Hello, this is Toth from Trifold Production with Nando Blender. Quick, quickie for beginners, actually. I was going to say quick tip, but this is actually a quickie for beginners. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can render complex scenes in Blender. And it's the same technique that they use at Disney. It's rendering in layers, but we're going to use the node-based system and green screen to do this. And the important things about this is just the setup just in general. Now, this is a sample of what I'm working on for an upcoming movie that I'm doing. Upcoming animation this is one of the characters in the movie. And that's important to note. This is just a basic green screen, you just, which is a plane. Just go shift A, you know, shift A, then mesh, plane. And once you've created your plane, just change the color to green. And this is what it looks like through the camera. Now, the key thing to note is you have to make sure that your subject is uh, pretty much a good distance away from the green screen because you want to eliminate as much shadow and as much uh, outside influence, so to speak, as possible because that, that saves a lot of time in the, in the, uh, the long run when you start processing or compositing. If my voice sounds kind of funny, I'm recording at my job on my laptop, so um, excuse me for that. But uh, make sure that you keep your subject some distance away from the green screen to avoid shadows. Like I said, it's going to help a lot in the long run you do compositing. But uh, let's uh, get right into it. I've already got some clips set up myself. These are three clips from the movie I'm working on. And once you've rendered this out, and I'll leave a link of this in the description below this video showing how to render out these scenes effectively in Blender without any hiccups or glitches. And I've got a background scene here also that's just an image, just a picture. So once, you want, once you've set all this up, you want to go to, let's go open up a new scene in Blender. Uh, let's say new scene, general. And we're going to go to compositing. Just click on the preset button at the top, compositing we're going to use. Click on use nodes. Uh, make sure that this is activated by left clicking in here and press shift S and From the pop-up menu you want to go to inputs and we're going to pick movie clip And we're going to click open we're going to navigate to where we saved our images our green screen images to click on green screen That's where I saved mine and I'm going to click on the main character here open clip in order to see what our clip looks like in the viewer port, let's press Shift A again. And we're going to go to Output and we're going to click on Viewer. And we're going to connect our image node to the image node here. And we have this. And to navigate to your, uh, what you're seeing in, in your viewport, uh, V is to zoom out, Alt V is to zoom in. And if you want to move your viewport around, hold down Alt and then your middle mouse button. When you don't hold down Alt and just your middle mouse button, it moves, moves your nose system around. You hold down Alt, middle mouse button, it moves the image and your viewport around. You just ignore this. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is, but uh, let's center our character here. And from here, we're going to press Shift A again, and we're going to go to, let me see, Matt and King. I'm going to pull this up between, uh, right on this line here. When you let, when you drag it over and you let go, left click, it automatically joins the this note system between those two. And this is the beauty of doing green screen within Blender. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, luminosity and things like that to try to get the levels right when it comes to eliminating the green screen altogether. Once you've prepped up your green screen properly, like I said initially, by keeping your subject away from your green screen, so that there are no shadows, eliminating the green screen is just easy. So let's left click within the color key color and let's left click on the eyedropper and click on that and immediately just 
eliminates it. Let's try to do this. We can zoom out. And it just pretty much takes that away. Let's drag that down a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. And then if you zoom in, Alt B, let's hold down our minimus button with the Alt button held down. You'll see a little jaggedness going on around our subject here to eliminate that. We can increase our feather. Okay, that looks good. So five looks good. Let's press it again to zoom out. And the next thing we're going to do, because we have three clips in here, let's go back to where our clips are saved. We have these two gentlemen here, so we're going to import those two. In order to avoid recreating the wheel, so to speak, you know, doing this whole process again, it's not a tedious process, but it's still something you don't have to do if you don't want to. Let's drag this over. Let's connect this image node to the composite so we can export it out or render it out when we're done. And if this is getting too much in your way, you just press these, these up arrows and it just makes it smaller. And it gives you some more real estate to work with. Hold down B, left click and drag over this, and then Shift D to duplicate that. Let's uh, expand that again and just click X to eliminate that. And let's open up the second clip. Open green screen toot. Click on that uh, clip. Open clip. And let's see what that looks like to make sure that everything is is uh, the same as our first clip. Drag that over and let's press V. Left, hold down Alt, left uh, mouse. Hold down your middle mouse button and drag over. And our next gentleman's in there, which is good. So we want to join these two clips together. We want these them both to be in the same scene. In order to do that, do that you press Shift A. And we're going to go to Color and Alpha Over. Drag that in the middle. And we're going to drag the color node from here, or the image node color node from our first clip into the image node of the alpha over and there you go because we have we want this guy in front of this guy and i know he looks kind of small but he's going to be walking forward in the scene while this guy's going to be in the background but that's really not an issue so we have these two guys in them which is what we want and once again we have to remember to connect the image node from here from our alpha over to the image of the composite so, because when we render this out, we want to render it out with the compositor. So that's how that's why we have to remember to do that. And we're going to do the same thing again because we want our third guy in there. So hold down B, left click and drag, Shift D, let's drag that down. Middle mouse button. Like I said before, I'm not using my uh, screencast keys because it crashes Blender for some reason. So I find something that's more stable. Uh, but we've uh, duplicated that second clip, uh, so we want our third uh, clip to come in. So X to delete that, open. Let's navigate to where we've saved our third guy, which is this guy here. Open clip. And let's make sure that he's also where he's supposed to be in terms of uh, having our background eliminated. So we're going to see what that looks like. So let's drag our image clip from my king over to the image clip of our viewer image node of our viewer excuse me click on that and he's in there also so we want to combine all three clips together and once again let's click on that let's press shift to duplicate that drag that down and we're going to drag the image alpha from this node over to this one let's see what that looks like Okay, so that's good. We, we want this guy in front of this guy, so we're going to switch those uh, positions of the nodes. Let's left click and drag on that, put that up there. And now it's in front, so that's good. Once again, this is our, uh, this is the output from our three uh, movie clips. Once again, let's make sure we connect it to our uh, composite node for our, to render out everything. And now the last part is we want to add our image to this. So press Shift A again on your keyboard, Output, uh, actually Input, sorry about that, Input. And we're going to go to Image. I'm going to put that right down there. 
can scroll down with your mouse wheel to zoom out. Let's make these small so we can have more, make it look a little bit neater. I'm gonna kind of reorganize all this a little bit. Okay. Do you grab and pull that up? Do that one more time. G, pull that up. Okay. This is kind of a bit of a tedious process, but this is what you would have to do if you're rendering complex scene. Because usually with this a scene like this, what I've tried to render out in Blender just straight, it just crashes Blender, freezes up the computer. So this is the best way to render out a complex scene with you know multiple characters and also a very dense background. So we have our image uh, node up there. So let's open up our image. Open that. Green screen. Click on the image. Open image. And once again, left click on our alpha over. Shift D. Duplicate that. Put that in the middle. And let's connect our image node from our uh, from our field over to our alpha over. Let's see what that looks like. And once again, this has put it in front of our three movie clips. Let's switch that up. Left click and pull that out and connect to the bottom. And there we go. So we have all of our characters in the scene with a you know, detailed background. And once you render this out, you'll have everything set up the way you want it set up. And before I forget, if you're rendering, running it out in Eve, that's fine, but I did it in Cycles, so let's left click on that, Cycles, and GPU Compute, and then you just hit Animation, and that's pretty much it. But that's how you can render out a complex scene in Blender uh, using the green screen fairly easily by using the movie clip and the king nodes with your alpha over to lay one movie clip on top of the other and the same thing with the images so once again thank you guys who have been watching my uh, tutorials really appreciate you guys and uh, thank you guys who will be subscribing in the future also thank you guys and really appreciate all of you and I will see you guys on the next one and I will show you the results of this video clip or this technique you know during the end of this video. So see you guys in the next one. Adios.